Well, we know both state and local governments are working really overtime to try to help those long-term care facilities. We know that the majority of those facilities have really turned out to be hot spots for COVID-19. Well, a local woman lost both her parents to the coronavirus. The couple was in a nursing home together, and they died within just a couple of days of each other. Well, tonight, CBS 4's Karen Morfitt did talk with her daughter and, uh, and the staff at that nursing home. And Karen, this is really heartbreaking for everyone that's involved in this. Karen, their daughter, says she was able to visit her parents nearly every day in that nursing home before this pandemic started. She says the staff was like family, and she says there, it doesn't question their work at all. The staff, however, says they could use those resources from state and local officials now. After 68 years of marriage, Dottie and Jim Russ had built a lifetime of memories. Dottie raising five children. She raised her kids in a respectable fashion and others looked up to her. Jeannie Davis is the oldest. She says her father was a community advocate and honored for his work. He was selected as an entrepreneur who made a difference. Last week, she lost both of them. Her mother confirmed to have COVID-19 and her father presumed. I hurt, it hurts. Yet, I get some comfort in knowing that they are together. The two shared a room at Holly Heights Nursing Home, where Executive Director Janet Snipe says they have been fighting an uphill battle and doing it with limited protection. The nursing homes are front line for this pandemic. And I think until we can get the resources to nursing homes, we're not going to see this pandemic come to an end. State and local officials are starting to recognize that. They are now bringing in the National Guard for more testing at some of those facilities and increasing inspections to ensure proper protocol is followed. They interviewed staff. They watched staff donning and doffing their PPE because it's required to be done in a certain Format. Davis commends the staff for their tireless work. And while her parents are no longer by her side, she knows they will always be with her. All I could do was look up at the ceiling and the sky and say, I know you made it. I know you got there okay. Now, the Colorado National Guard will do that enhanced testing at three different facilities starting this week. They will be in El Paso County, Adams County, and Broomfield County. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Oh, Karen, she certainly has a beautiful spirit. Thank you for sharing that story with us.